the season. It is so close. Nameco over here, Dustin over there. We're going to be talking about what you should be doing for your draft day strategy. But first, as always, a couple announcements at the beginning. Our app, like we've been talking about, it's up. Yes, it is only for the iPad. Long term, we're looking for ways to get it out to other people. Right now, it's available for the iPad. We'll have a link to it in this video. Go ahead and click on it. Check it out. And you've heard about them. I don't know if you've played them, but I play them every, every Sunday. That's the Daily Fantasy Leagues. If you go to FanDuel.com, type in the promo code FST2014, and no spaces, you get 100% bonus up to $200. It's pretty much what they do with everybody, but give us love here on Smack Talk. Help the little guy out. Yeah. FST 2014 FanDuel. Draft strategy. We're just going to go through each position, kind of talk about what we're what we're feeling the strategy is for that position. First, I want to talk about the quarterback. First part of the quarterback strategy is for me, if you can get Peyton Manning on your team, get him. I don't care if it's the first pick. I don't care Ooh. if it's the fifth pick. If he's there, I say take him. He's outscored. But you wouldn't take him number one overall, you personally. I would. I wow. would. It's bold. I know it. it but that he's. He was that good last year, and I think he could good. do it again. I have no problem taking Drew Brees or Aaron Rodgers in the middle of the second, but after that, for me personally, I'm waiting. You got Cam Newton, you got Luck, you got Stafford, RG3, Foles, Brady, Matt Ryan, Kaepernick, Wilson. I like all those guys enough to where I don't, I'm don't. i not going to panic if I don't get one of those top three guys, but again, I think Manning's worth the price wherever you can get him. And I, the old adage, if you're going to get one really late, might as well draft two, play a matchup game, hopefully one blows up. One thing, if I get, if I end up with uh, Manziel and Brady, I'm happy. Johnny Football is going to be good. <laughs> He's going to be good. Football! <laughs> all right, running backs. You know, in years past, we were like, all right, go away from the whole running back, running back thing. It's stupid to do. Now, granted, wide receivers, and Dustin will talk about that, there's some elite talent, but going running back, running back is not an insane thing this year, especially if you can get two of the top 11 guys, because after that, it really starts to fall off a cliff. There's a few guys in the in the third, fourth round you know, area that we kind of like, but the guys that are going to be going really early are the ones that you should be targeting. You have to get at least one running back with your first two picks. So if you go Peyton in the first, you better be grabbing a running back next, because You'll see other other positions are pretty deep. Something else that I'm doing this year is my middle round running backs. I am handcuffing, so I'm not going to, but if for some reason I end up with Steven Jackson or Frank Gore, I'm going to make sure that I get a Freeman, I get a Hyde. I'm going to handcuff those middle guys a little bit early, so make sure that you're looking to do that as well. At wide receiver, I think this is one of the deepest years as far as wide receivers that are going to go between the second and fourth round. It's... There is a ton of talent out there. That's again one of the reasons why we're saying you got to get at least one of those top running backs in the first two rounds because there's plenty of options at receiver. Obviously, Calvin, Thomas, Dez, AJ, Marshall, Brown, those guys are going to go, you know, Calvin probably first, and the rest of the guys around in the second round. But even after that, Julio Cobb, Alshon Jeffrey, Nelson, Andre Johnson, Cruz, Garcon, Jackson, Welker, Hilton, Keenan Allen, Torrey Smith, Roddy White. I'm happy with all those guys. You know, you get you know, two running backs in the first two rounds, get one or two of these guys, and there's still receivers deep almost all the way down. There's even guys later like Golden Tate, uh, you know, even even Danny Amendola, who you can get super late, guys that could even offer Danny, that's the bad example. He's gonna get one thing in certain in life, he's getting hurt. But there's a lot of upside. Death. You know, even uh, who's your boy over uh, Manuel Sanders, like guys like that, Ooh, he's gonna be guys good. that you can get really late at wide receiver. That's why there's there's less question marks at receiver than running. And before back. we get into tight end, everyone always asks in the forums, what order should I go in? Should I drop the running back and then a receiver and then this and that and whatever? It's almost impossible to say because you got to go based on value in your draft. That is the key to the first few rounds. You go with who the best value is. With that said, due to the fact receiver is so so deep, you can go running back, quarterback, running back, tight end if you wanted to, and then start grabbing your receivers, and it would be okay. Side note to the running backs, if I'm grabbing a bench running back before my wide receiver three, that's perfectly okay, because there is so much depth late. Tight ends, pretty simple. Either you take Jimmy Graham in the first round, or you wait. I am not taking a Gronk, a Thomas, or Vernon Davis. Based on their ADP, they're not going to be on my team. Jimmy Graham certainly can be, because he is so much better than every other tight end. Gronk, already injury questions. Seems like it's going to be, you know, 2013 all over again. Thomas, if he had five less touchdowns, and I know Dust said he'd take Penny number one overall. Peyton, I think I combined it. Either way, 
If he had five less touchdowns, he would be the same as Charles Clay. So could that happen? There yeah, is I a like chance. And he loves Charles Clay. That's a guy you can get late. We'll get to that. Vernon Davis, first half of the year last year, 74 yards a game. Second half, 41.5 yards a game. He did have the touchdowns, but that's where the regression is. So if I don't get Jimmy Graham, I am waiting because I love me. I love Dennis Pitta. PPR leagues, this guy's going to be a stud. I love Reed. I love Ertz. And if you miss on all of those guys and their upside, old, reliable Greg Olson you can get late. So either Graham, pass on the guys in the middle rounds, and be the last one to draft in your league. One of the two options. Greg Olson. And as a reward for watching the whole video, Yay! we're trying to promote the app, obviously. The first 10 people that go to our forums, sign up for the forums, post a message in our football forum saying, I want a free app, we'll give you a code for the free app. Now obviously, if you're watching this in September, the 10 people have already done it, so don't go in there. <laughs> so please, because I gotta hit them all back. Yeah, so don't go in there and say that you want it. But we just wanna give a little shout out for people that wanted to get the app again, it's only for the iPads. So and even better, them. if you have more questions on Draft Day Strategy, go into the forum and ask. We have experts that actually are going to reply to you. And we're in there as well. Including us, so you'll even get our sometimes terrible opinions. And sometimes very good. Mostly tough. We're well over 50. I actually dominated last year. That was a terrible throw, and I threw it like a girl. Still download the app. Check it out. If you like what you saw, then check out some of our other videos, and subscribe to our channel.